but it is of interest to appreciate that one can get identical patterns of immediate and late asthmatic reactions occurring either separately or together in response to inhaled chemical dusts, vapors, and fumes. And I want very briefly to show how we test for these. Uh, here you see a patient being tested to the uh, salts of uh, platinum, uh, very potent allergens, which are, are really rather hazardous to test uh, if one does not take care. Uh, the patient is tilting from one receiver to another, a mixture of the platinum salt with lactose in a previously worked out proportion, and uh, the patient inhales the dust that comes off from this uh, uh, maneuver over controlled periods of time. Uh, the reactions produced in the bronchus by such exposure are exactly of the types that I have been describing. The uh, next uh, uh, agent which can be tested in a similar sort of way are the fumes uh, derived from the soldering of aluminum solder. This contains a minoethyl ethanolamine, and here you see the patient placing a hot soldering iron into the solder and taking two or three inhalations of this material. After such exposure, sensitized subjects give immediate, late, or dual reactions. And the last example I want to show in this context is a patient being tested to the fumes of toluene diisocyanate. Once again, an extremely potent sensitizer employed in the rubber and plastics industry and also used as a combination for certain polyurethane paints and varnishes. The way we test with this material is to get the patient to paint with the varnish itself on one day as a control and then the following day to paint with the varnish plus the toluene diisocyanate added to it. And uh, by such tests, we are able to uh, elicit immediate, late, and dual reactions, just as we have done with the other common allergens. Now, this method of occupational type exposure opens up quite a large area of investigation of agents which have previously not been entirely easy to deal with in this sort of situation. 